I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on vectors. We'll explore how to find the shortest distance from a point in R3 on a line. Now there are two different methods which can be followed. One is using the dot product and the other one is using the cross product. We'll also discuss when to use which method. Let's look into these two questions. Question number one here is Determine a point on the line that produces the shortest distance from the point. Find the shortest distance between the point and the line. Well, if that is the question for you, which clearly says that, let us say we have a line here and we are given some external point P, then it says determine a point on the line that produces the shortest distance. That means we have to find a point here which is on the normal of the line. Right? So, so if I am given a point P, I need to find Q. That is my first part. Correct? So if you follow this method, and of course when you find the point Q, you can find the distance also. So if that is the case which you're trying to solve, then it should be solved using dot product. Clear? So the first example here will be solved using dot product. We need to find a point and so dot product should be zero between PQ and the direction M of the given line. Is that clear to you? Now look at the second question. It says calculate the shortest, calculate the distance between the point and the line. So when it says calculate the distance, it automatically means shortest distance, right? From a point which is supposed to be external. If it is on the line, you'll get zero as your answer and the given line. Now, if that is the case, you have a choice. You could use dot product, you could use cross product also. Now, how do we uh, justify that? It's kind of like this. Let's say again, we have a line given to us and we have an external point. Now, in that case, what we do is that from the external point P, we do not find the point Q, right? We just don't find this point Q. In fact, we pick up a point given to us. So in this case, a point is given to us. So we'll say, well, let's, let's think about these two points, right? So we're saying we have a point here, P0, which is given to us, correct? Now, the direction of P, P0, right? This direction, right? And this direction have an angle in between, right? This angle, let us say is alpha. In that case, what is PQ? Which is the shortest distance, right? What is PQ? So from here, we can see that this distance D, P to Q, let's call this distance as D, will be equal to the absolute value of P, P0 with sine of alpha, correct? Okay, that is the opposite side. But you know the cross product. The cross product is that if I do the cross product between PP0, call this vector PP0, right? Cross product with M, the direction of this line, right? In that case, what do I get? The cross product is magnitude of these two times sine alpha. Correct? So from here rearranging, what do we get? We get PP0 cross product with direction of the line divided by the magnitude of the line actually gives us PP0 sine alpha, which in our case is the shortest distance, PQ, right? So that is that is what we want to find. That is what PQ is. 
that is what D is. Is that clear to you? So you can use cross product to find the answer. So we are going to use cross product for our second example. So in this example, we'll use cross product. Is that clear to you? And then we'll find, we'll see how to apply both these methods to find the shortest distance. Perfect. So let's begin with the solution of the very first one, which is determine a point on the line R, which is 1, 2, minus 1, T, 0, 1, 1, T belongs to real number, that produces the shortest distance from the point P. Find the shortest distance. Correct? So first step is we'll just find a general point. Correct? So from the given equation, we can say, what is x equals to? x is 1 plus 0, 1 plus 0 t, let me write. y value is basically equals to 2 and plus t. And the z value, that is a general point, is basically equal to minus 1 plus t. Correct? So that becomes a general point on our line given to us, right? Now we have an external point given to us which is minus 1, 1, 6. Now what is the direction between this general point which is, we'll call this as P0 for us, right? So now, what is the direction between P, P0? So let's find that. So vector P, P0 will be what? So from here, we can do this minus this. So, so what we get here is basically 1 minus 1, which is 2, right? And then we have 2 plus t minus 1, right? 2 plus t minus 1, which is 1 plus t. And then minus 1 plus t minus 6, which gives us minus 6 plus t, correct? So, so that becomes p, p, 0. Correct. Okay. Now, what is the direction given to us? The direction of the line is given to us as 0, 1, 1. Perfect. Now, for them to be perpendicular, dot product should be 0, right? So, for them to be perpendicular, we have P, P, 0, dot M, which we can now multiply, dot product which is 2 times 0 as 0 plus 1 plus t times 1, which is 1 plus t, plus minus 7 plus t, which is minus 7 plus t. That should be equal to 0. Clear? Now let's simplify this. We get 2t equals 2. We have minus 6 here, right? So 1 minus 7 is minus 6. Going to that side becomes plus 6. So that gives you the value of t as 6 divided by 2, which is 3. Perfect. So we know what t is now. So we can find what the point p0 should be, right? So p0 should be substitute t equals to 3, right? So we'll be at t equals to 3. So let's substitute this value. So we get x value as equals to 1. y value will be equals to 2 plus 3, which is 5. And the z value is equals to minus 1 plus 3, which is 2. So we get our point P0, right? So we can write P0 as a point, which is 1, 5, 2. Correct? So once we get this point, 1, 5, 2, we can actually find the distance using the distance formula, right? So what is the distance now? So the distance will be equal to square root of, we know the two points, right? The one given to us, P, right? Let me write down here, minus 1, 1, 6, and that is what we found, correct? So this square, 1 minus that becomes plus 1 whole square plus 5 minus 1 whole square plus 2 minus 6 whole square, correct? That's it. 
So that is square root of 2 square which is 4. This is 4 square which is 16 and this is again 4 square which is 16. So that gives you 20 and 136 which is 6. So 6 units. So we get our answer which is minimum distance or the shortest distance equals to 6 units. Is that clear to you? Correct. So we found both the things. We found the shortest distance and we also found the point, right? So both the things. And the point was, closest point was 152. Is that clear to you? So that is how we can actually use the dot product concept to find the solution. Correct. Right. Now let's take the second example and see how the cross product concept can be used to find the shortest distance from a point in R3 to the line. Now let us find the shortest distance using the cross product. The question here is calculate the shortest distance between the point P 1 2 minus 1 and the line R 1 0 0 plus T minus 4, 5, 20, where t belongs to real numbers, right? So when you are using the cross product, then the shortest distance formula d is basically equal to the cross product of this direction times the point p, p0, right? Divided by the magnitude of your direction, correct? Okay? So that becomes the, the formula. Now, let's try to see what we are given and how to find the shortest distance. So, what we are given here is the point P, which is 1, 2, minus 1. And that is a point given on the line itself. We'll call this as P0, 1, 0, 0. Correct? So, from here, we can find what is P, P0. So that will be uh, 1 minus 1 is 0, 0 minus 2 will be minus 2, and 0 minus 1 will be 1. Okay. So we get PP0. We know the direction M basically is equal to minus 4, 5, 20. So let's find the cross product first. So the cross product will be what? Will be uh, 0, well, let's write this first, minus 4, 5, 20. The order doesn't matter here since we are taking the magnitude, right? 0, minus 2, 1, right? So let me use matrix to find this cross product. So which is i, j, k, minus 4, 520 and 0 minus 2 1 okay so i value 4 5 times 1 is 5 minus and minus becomes plus 40 here minus j then minus 4 and that is 0 plus k which is 8 minus 0 so that basically gives you uh, 45i uh, plus 4j minus 20 8k correct so from here we can calculate the magnitude of the cross product right so from here the magnitude of this cross product is equal to uh, square root of 45 square plus 4 square plus 8 square which is basically equal to let's calculate we have square root of 45 square plus 4 square plus 8 square which is 45.88 8. let's write down Okay, now 
what is the magnitude of so we got the numerator and we need to find the magnitude of this or we can just substitute let's find and what is the magnitude of the direction which is square root of minus 4 square plus 5 square plus 20 square great which is basically equal to square root of 16 plus 25 plus 400 21 so this is basically 21 correct so now we get both uh, the numerator and the denominator and so we can now find the distance d which is basically equal to the magnitude of cross product right over the magnitude of direction so which is for us 45.88 divided by 21 so let's do it. We have 45.88 divided by 21 equals to, in decimals, uh, 2.18. So that becomes our answer for the given question, right? So, so the minimum distance basically is, let's say, 2.2 units. Correct? So that is how you could actually use the cross product to find the answer. So I hope both the methods are absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, share my videos with your friends. If you have questions, write them in the comments. Thanks for watching and all the best.